What is seen to the right and how does it work and when would you use it? So over here to the right, we have a MOSFET. Now that stands for Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Effect Transistor. It's a mouthful, yes, but ultimately it amplifies our electrical signal to determine dose. So when would we use it? If you want to do in vivo dosimetry, it's a great option. Very easy to use, very easy to place on the patient, uh, very quick readings, easy to calibrate, easy to do QA on, typically battery powered. So it's just very portable, very mobile, and very easy to use. So how does it work? That's where things start to get a little more dicey and a bit more complicated. So first, I'm going to draw a P. So these are semiconductors. I'm going to put that P, P, and then here is a N. So this is a P, N, P, meaning a P-type semiconductor right here, a N-type and a p-type remember just like a diode uh, we're using semiconductors here so th these are a source a gate which is the n and then we have a drain so again p and p that is the source the gate and the drain so by applying a negative voltage to the drain, which again is the P-type semiconductor, that is going to repel negative charge carriers in the N-type semiconductor away from the gate. So it's going to repel those. What that is going to do is create a channel for current to run through, somewhat like a valve. So we in radiation oncology only use the P-type, meaning again that the source and the drain are P-type semiconductors, the substrate is an N-type, and the gate voltage that we are going to be monitoring is negative. So the threshold voltage needed will increase with the dose that this receives. So you can relate that threshold voltage to the dose. A brief overview of how it works. For my exam, that's about what I knew. If uh, you got to make your own distinction, if you want to dive deeper and understand more fully, that's what I knew going into my exam. So when we mentioned how you would use it, some things to remember is that it is temperature dependent. So as our temperature increases, our signal will actually decrease. It's also dependent on energy. So when you do, you see over here, we've got multiple different MOSFETs. Those are all for different energies. They all have different channels, which you can see right here. Uh, dose and dose rate can affect the readings. Uh, there is some fading, which is why you need to do your monthly calibrations. And every, at some point, you're probably going to have to replace these, right? I mean, look how delicate they – they're fairly sturdy for what they are, but you may have to replace them. And there is angular dependence because depending on where – the, if the beam is on FOSS or coming in at an angle, that may affect the radiation hitting this uh, P-type semiconductor. So MOSFETs, if you have any questions, comment below. A nice alternative to diodes. So I'll happily help where I can. Good luck studying.